everybody, it's Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse. And I have a journal that I just want to do a flip through of. This one is not for sale. I made this for a friend of mine. She doesn't know that she's getting it, so I'm going to wait to post this video until she's gotten it. Um, and there are a couple pages that are really personal, you know, have personal photographs in them, so I don't I'll cover those so that you don't see them. But I wanted to show this to y'all because I'm really, really pleased with it and because that's what us junk journalers do is we share our ideas with each other. So I have this fabric, which I also made a journal for myself out of. I wanted to make them matching. I started this journal before my husband was killed in a car accident and then I just couldn't get myself to work on it for quite a while after that. So I'm really happy to finish it up and get it to her. Um, he was really excited about me making a journal for her. She's just really special to both of us. And so, yeah, anyway, so I've got a bunch of his buttons on here for her. Teresa is her name. And so Teresa, these are a bunch of Bill's buttons. Um, I've got a tree of life on here for you. And this picture just really reminded me of you. I'm not exactly sure why. It just looks so happy and it looks kind of 70s hippie-ish. And um, anyway, so I put this verse here because I wanted you to hear this verse because this is so about you. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and can continue to help them. Hebrews 6.10. Uh, Teresa is a woman who has gone through her own trials and yet even during those trials she is always helping other people and being kind to people and just showing God's love. She's just an amazing, amazing person. Um, here's uh, the dangles around here. This one says, I love you to the moon and back. And then we've got just, you know, like a feather and an anchor and some beads. And then here are some grapes. Um, I guess that's a moth. It's not a dragonfly, it's a moth. Um, a sailor's wheel, a boat wheel, a sun, an angel. I think I, some of them have gotten tucked in here. We'll come across them. Here's a butterfly. And then I think this actually is all. And then a heart. Okay, so hopefully you can see those. This is what the side looks like, the top. You know, I have all these threads hanging out here because it's shabby chic. And Bill was always saying that my junk journals were hairy. <laughs> um, it's bound with leather. Okay, and so we're going to flip through. So I, I had a couple of ladies here. Uh, let me see if I can come in just a little bit here. I don't want to zoom in too much and cut things out. Okay, so I had these two Tim Holtz ladies, and I thought that could be us. <laughs> and I said, love you, from Alice K to Teresa. Um, there's like some hippie elements in here, Teresa, because that makes me think of you. For some reason, steampunk sometimes makes me think of you too. Not always, but sometimes. I thought this door was just gorgeous, and I thought you would like this. And there's lace on a lot of the pages, lace and fabric and stuff. Okay, and then this is, so I saw Gail Agostinelli making these kinds of pockets, and then I thought, wouldn't that be cute as kind of a booklet? So I've done that, and I think I've done an, uh, a tutorial showing how to do that. I have some of my uh, Indian sari lace here. I have verses from Philippians. I'm not going to read all of them because there's just not time. I'm, I'm waiting because I have to go pick up a friend at physical therapy and he's probably going to call me in about half an hour. So I want to get through this. So then um, this is just, I got this someplace and I can't remember where. Anyway, it was just a piece of junk mail and I thought it was cool and went with this. Um, we got my business card here and a piece of ledger paper that I shrunk down. It's it's old ledger paper and Teresa has been an accountant in her life so I thought that was appropriate. And I'll send a pen along too, at least I'll try to remember to send a pen. I have these pens that write really dark so they write on colored pages like this really well. And you can write all over this. You can write on the pockets, you can write on the pages, on the cards, on the fronts and backs of the cards. There's these moths. There, I have stamps all throughout. Um, this postcard is a pocket, and when you take the stuff out of it, then this page flips up so you can write all over it, inside it, on it, whatever. Um, I think you've seen some of my junk journals, so you kind of have an idea. Um, 
these two were just really cool. I'm not going to go into explaining everything. This page, I'm not going to show you um, what's under the card because it's pictures of her kids that I took and I superimposed over some other uh, pictures and made them Sienna. This is called a um, Rita Donnelly flip. Gosh, I'm losing my mind here. It's got some more British or at least European um, ledger paper right all over the clock there's another pocket here with some cards in it for you to write on you can write something special here you can write on the page all around it you can glue stuff to the pages you can staple stuff you can paper clip it the idea is to keep the ephemera the little junky type things from your day that will become really special later on and and just show like your descendants what life was like now and stuff i remember my mom found a um a notebook of my grandfather's from when he had taken a bike trip with a friend and he had all kinds of stuff written in that notebook and the thing that I remember the most was his grocery list and he had the amounts that he paid for each thing I remember the bread was 19 cents I mean I remember that from her finding it like I don't know 30 years ago or so and so anyways so that's just really special and so I just want to encourage you to keep stuff like that to write down some of the things that you post on Facebook Teresa are absolutely wonderful um, your experiences and the way that you help people and everything and I was thinking you could either write those down or just print them off and paste them on some of these pages or paper clip them or stick them in the pockets or something but those are things that are your legacy that you can pass on um, this is some of Bill's yarn it's flax or linen and rayon um, here's an envelope with a flower that I think I got at Hobby Lobby and you can write inside this envelope or if you want to glue it shut you can you just glue here and here and then it'll make an envelope and you can stick stuff back in it and you don't have to put these pockets the things that are in the pockets you can rearrange those all over the place you may not even want to use them because you'll have so much of your own stuff to put in but um, use those for whatever you want and then here's some coffee dyed paper that I just folded up for you to write on and put in the envelope or put someplace else or use it for a grocery list or whatever um, there's some more tags and stuff here, an old bingo card that you can write on, another stamp in a pocket. Um, here's another passage from Philippians. I had used Philippians in my journal that had this, this pocket, and so I wanted to do the same thing for yours, although yours is very, very different from mine. Um, an ad for rubber stamps and a bird a button from China and this is some Franken paper you can see that it's like all kinds of pieces of fabric and yarn and paper that are all sewn together and then um, this one is a sideways pocket but it also has a pocket here and a pocket here and some a verse from Philippians it's made from a paper bag and then this is just paper that's folded up and you can use it actually to tuck something into it here in my dad's journal I had tucked in some stuff so I forgot to do that in yours, but you know, you'll find something to put there. And there's another but button from China, some ribbons. Sunflowers for some reason really make me think of you. I think because they're just so happy and friendly and everything. Um, there's some cool places to write here. Your vote counts. And another of these flowers. Here's one of those little dangles that we have. A butterfly and a bird. Um, this one says great things take time things like this just when I saw these pictures they just I don't know they just made me think of you maybe because of the bookkeeping accountant stuff I love this little bird and here's that picture again that I have on the front it flips open you can write under it and right here um, and then this page just right over all the leaves and everything here's another verse from Philippians and then this is a button flower that um, Carol Tinson taught how to do and I loved it so much that I made a whole drawer full of these things <laughs> anyway I will post I'll try to post my and her uh, videos about that below she does so many videos I may not be able to find the one that she did but I'll try um, some more you know pages just to write on and stuff lots of little here's a tuck that you can tuck all kinds of cards in there's plenty of even if you use these cards in there there's plenty of space for more here's a little stamp there's another postage stamp that says forever on it. Um, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Oops, okay, so let's see. Here's a, a motorcycle because she and her husband ride motorcycles, and we were hoping to get them out here to 
ride the tail of the dragon someday. Bill really wanted to meet you, Teresa, in person. I want to, too. I've never met Teresa in person. Maybe in high school, because we went to the same high school, but we hung around in completely different crowds. And so, as far as I know, we've never actually met in person, but we have become good friends, and she's just very, very special. She's special to a lot of people. Okay, so the next page... Yeah, this one I can show you. Um, I've got a pocket here. This is from Melody Huey, um, from her floriculture kit and I had an extra one from my journal so I stuck this in here and you can actually stick it's a pocket you can stick stuff through there these maps oops okay so this is one of their wedding pictures it's the centerfold and I just made it in sienna so that it couldn't be seen so I'm just going to protect their privacy by not showing it um, even though it's on Facebook so it probably is pretty public but just in case um, and then here's a card with that. You could tell I really liked that picture. It just really struck me as being like you. A two cent, I think this is a Canadian stamp that I blew up. Um, some more cards and stuff in a tuck. And you can see the stitching here from the pocket on the other side. That's kind of part of the shabby chic look. This is another Franken paper thing. It says throw kindness around like confetti. There's all kinds of cards. And then these are some envelopes um, that are actually envelopes. So you can stick little things in them if you want to. One of the things that I like to do in my junk journals is I like to put a dollar bill or a five dollar bill in one of the envelopes or pockets so that somebody later will find it you know maybe a hundred years from now or something it'd be really cool to them to find you know a 2021 dollar bill or something it'll be worthless but it will still be cool to find um no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart and Teresa has a very good heart these cards are just for writing on And an old postcard. I think this was from a Tim Holtz kit, actually. Um, I have stuff from just like all over. I have a lot of lace, a lot of, especially this cotton lace. I really like that. Um, another stamp and another verse from Philippians. Here I've got some other fabric. I used this fabric for my Abraham journal. And so that's on there. Here's a Canadian stamp and a speed limit sign. <laughs> <laughs> and some handwriting samplings um, some just some paper that was really pretty I think that may have been from Melody Huey also I'm not sure and just a lot of stenciling and stamping these were stamped these this was stenciled that I did all over throughout things coffee dyed paper this is coffee dyed paper and I stamped and stenciled on it and some more drawers some more coffee dyed paper you just you have plenty of room to write in here um live create tell the story some more sunflowers an eye chart this you could write like a verse or something on it on maybe something on each side and it's another oh here's some of the fabric right here and a bead and this is another read it only flip i might have more of those throughout here that i haven't pointed out um, you can just see just some fun papers, some more Franken paper. Oh, I loved this. This I think I got from Pixabay or Unsplash. That's very cool. Sunflower seed thing. Just more pictures and stuff. What's this one? Oh, a birdhouse. That's cute. Um, see, I started this like more than two years ago, so. Um, I like this little girl with her dog. Some more of Bill's yarn. It's really soft. And then this one is an envelope. And and these I'll try to remember to put in a piece of cardboard. But if I forget, you know, when you're writing like on this page that's right on top of some buttons, you might want to put some cardboard under it so that you don't have these buttons picking through and you end up tearing the paper. Or you can flip these buttons out. But like this one isn't going to flip out of the page. So this is a flip-flop. You can just write all over that. And this has all kinds of stuff in it. This is another one of those paper bag things. It's got a pocket here. You can put something large in here. I don't have anything there. Maybe I'll do this so that you remember that it's there. But there's also a pocket right here, so don't forget that. And then there's a pocket here at the back that I've got an owl in. And then another Rita Donnelly flip with a 
stamp on it. And this is some more pictures of her girl, her kids um, under here that I just want to preserve their privacy. Um, here's another couple ladies together. And my stamp, The Widow Ruckle House. And when nothing is sure, everything is possible. And then this door again here on the back. So it's like you've got the front door and the back door. So that's it. That's it. Um, I hope you really enjoy this, Teresa. It just seems to me like your style. I just really tried to make it. Oh, and on the cover, Bill and I shopped over and over and over looking for just the right fabric for you. So I really hope that you like this. And like I said, I decided to make yours and mine out of the same fabric. But um, we seriously, over like a couple months while I was making this, um, and he was working at Walmart and he would go in the fabric section and he'd bring me home samples and he brought me some bandanas and stuff and we just, I have never spent so much time trying to find the right fabric for a cover <laughs> for somebody. So I hope you like that. All right. I love you, Teresa. Love you all. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.